Hola, como estas, mi amigos? Back with another video. Ooh, excuse me. This is Quantum Jumping Two Cup Method, day 30. Day 30. I'm so excited for this. A month of doing this. How have I changed? I'm going to talk about this after I get done with doing it. Okay? I got an interesting story for you guys, man. I think you guys are going to like this. I think you guys are going to like this story. I'm going to tell you guys a wonderful quote that I heard about uh, a couple weeks ago. Wonderful quote that can hopefully help some of you guys. It helped me open up my mind. All right. This is my current situation. Day dirty, a month of doing this. Cleansing. Paradigm shift. That's amazing. I'm gonna tell you guys a quote that I heard a couple weeks ago. It's from the late and great Wayne Dyer. Now, I just started listening to him about, uh, I'd say a little over a month and a half ago. And um, I wish I would've started listening to him earlier. Now, I heard from him while on YouTube looking for Jim Rohn videos, Bob Proctor videos. And I'm just like, okay, seen this guy's video and I watched it and it was, I was amazed. You know, he passed away um, a couple years ago, but he has a quote that just stuck with me. He says, have a mind that's open to everything, but attached to nothing. Like, wow, so many meetings. And, um, you know, um, I started to really dive deep in this, you know, manifestation, um, you know, community, meditation, and um, it's just been amazing. This 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 whole month of doing this has just been completely amazing. And just getting different perspectives on everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Have a mind that's open to everything, but attached to nothing. It's truly amazing. And not me to think, right? Um, I've always really in the back of my mind believed in parallel universes. And um it's just a couple of days ago I was watching this video. Now again, you can believe it or not, but talk about time traveling again. Have a mind that's open to everything, but attached to nothing, right? So, just being open-minded, and I watched this video talking about time traveling, and how the government, you know, have all these secrets, and they're gonna all come out in the year 2028. Now, it's currently September the 16th, excuse me, September the 16th, 2018, and he says by the year 2028, the government's gonna have this technology that's gonna allow us to time travel. You know, and uh, he's, he, he also told us our next president in the United States of America and a possible World War Three that's going to be happening. And by the late 20, by the late, uh, you know, the late uh, 20, 20th, I guess you could say like the, the uh, 2025, I don't know, 2030. And um, I don't know, obviously you can just be like, okay, this is bull crap, but have a mind that's open to everything but touch to nothing and just, and, just, and just sit there and just thought about it. You know, and then the possibilities of what is out there. Like, what else doesn't the government tell us? You know, who knows what they're holding from us? And, um, you know, it just really got me to think. And um, also about parallel universes. I've always kind of, in, in the back of my mind, believed this kind of stuff. But just didn't know what to, um, what to really think of it. You know, maybe you might be crazy somewhere. Maybe maybe you start going, like, let's just after that, I went out and told my family about this kind of stuff. They'll be like, what are you talking about, Parallel University, bro? Ah, you know, we're just here, you know, this and that. But they're attached to other things, whether it's the media giving them biases, whether it's other people that's telling them stuff. got to be able to think for yourself, be a free thinker. And just by doing this, like, the last 30 days has, has been truly amazing. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even trying to you know, hype this up or whatever, but this has tr truly been amazing. And just really think for myself, meditating for uh, meditating for 30 days. You know, obviously, um, I meditate during this. And then obviously, when I get off this, I try and meditate, close my eyes and just think. And um, I, learned, I, learned a lot about, I, learned, I learned a lot about myself by doing this. And um, I just challenge you, if you're watching this, try it for a couple of days. Um, and just picture yourself where you truly intend to be. That's another parallel, you know. 
I don't know. I'm just very open-minded. I mean, I'm doing these experiments, the little rice and water experiment. I'm already getting results. And um, just trying to really um, expand, you know, grow myself. And uh, it's just been truly amazing. But yeah, day 30. I can't even believe it. A month of doing quantum jumping two-cup method. And what else? Has, what else has um, has 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 um, happened? Also, in these thirty days, I mean, other than I mean, it's just really been amazing. That's, that's all I can say. It's been really amazing. I wish I could really elaborate more. I wish I had more quotes or more, um, you know, notes to tell you guys about it. But I should definitely say, do it, do it, do it, do it. Meditate. Think about where you where you want to be. Think about your goals and really picture it and see yourself being where you actually want to be with this with the second cup you know but thanks for watching this i have a whole you know that from day i started at day two but i, I started on day one but i, I just started recording it to day two all the way to day 30 and which is this video so go ahead watch these videos tell me if i've changed for the comment section yo you change or you look the same yo, like what is this you know i want to see your comments in the comment section and what you guys think about this journey and should i continue should i continue going on i'm going to probably continue tomorrow i like doing this kind of stuff and i'm going to bring you guys more i guess you could say uh you know experiments you could say um I definitely want to do like a water experiment after 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 I get done with this water and rice experiment. I want to have two jars and then one of them I'm going to be screaming or talking love to it and the other one I'm going to be talking hate to it and just seeing what happens to the water. I'm just very curious. Maybe dying of water. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a scientist, but I'm very curious on um, what's what could possibly happen. So yeah, leave, leave your comments down below. Tell me what I should do. Uh, if you if you watch all these videos, I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. But time is very, very, very valuable. And at least to me personally. And thank you for, for watching this whole journey. And yeah. Day 30. Thank you. Gracias, mi amigos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.